Okay, hello and welcome to So What Kimberly Wine Bottle Bag Tutorial. Um, here I'm showing you the things that you're going to need if you do not have a sewing machine. So you'll need um, something to measure with, like measuring tape, of course. I just uh, put this here just in case I need this gauge. Sometimes I do. Um, a straight edge ruler your scissors, your heat and bond. Now, when I do this, I will pull as much of it off as I need, and then I cut it into smaller strips just right down the center once I cut it. And so then I have these strips here, okay? And of course, your fabric and an iron. If you don't have a machine, that's this is the stuff that you will need. So if you want to go ahead and get this stuff, gather this stuff together and do this with me, you are welcome to do it, okay? Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to get some cotton fabric and you want to cut these strips right here. They are, um, this is going to be reversible. So you'll be able to turn it inside out, okay? So you'll need to cut this 18 inches long and seven inches wide, okay? So this is seven inches wide and 18 inches long. So once you've cut your pieces, um, you're gonna need four pieces because like I said, it's reversible. So you'll need um, two for the inside and two pieces for the outside. And you're also gonna need ribbon, and I didn't show the ribbon um, in the beginning, but you will need some type of ribbon that will go with um, your fabric. And this can be about 24, 25 inches long. And if you want to um, do your ends like this or whatever just make sure that you burn them a little bit um, with a lighter so you got your ribbon 24 inches long and the width is really up to you how wide you want to um, for your ribbon to be okay okay now what you want to do is you want to place right sides together long weights we're going to use the heat and bond, and I'm going to put it, I'm going to place it right here as close to the edge as I can, and put the other fabric on top. So right sides together, and I'm just going to take my iron and I'm going to go from one end all the way to the other end. Just making sure that I, this is, this is gonna be the inside. This is gonna be the inside here. So this is this part right here is what I just ironed using the heat bond and it's gonna hold just like um, fabric. So I'll go all the way up to the top. I'll also do this on the bottom and the other side and I'll come back. Okay, I, I want to show you, um, this is the bottom. So I've already done one side. I'm gonna come over to the bottom, put this down here, just lay it right across there as close to the edge as possible, and then put your other fabric on top. And you're gonna iron it. I'm gonna straighten this up right here and I'm just going to iron it. So then I have a little bit left. I don't have to tear it off unless I don't have any more to do. But since I do, I will take it and I will just kind of fold it up. OK, 
okay so now I will do this other side that's open I will put some on here so I will start right here and I'll go all the way up to the top <clears throat> Okay, you're going to turn your corners in about uh, one and a half inches. And this is what it's going to look like once you've turned um, your corners in. This is the finished end. This end is closed. So you want to take on this triangle, you want to fold it and use your heat bond in order to, to get this look here okay so about one and a half inches on this side one and a half inches on that side now once you've done that you want to turn down about an inch and this is when I used this turn down about an inch let me move this out of my way let me double check for my inch and you want to press it down so usually with cotton fabric once you've gotten it started you can kind of fold the rest of it get it even and then press Hold on just one second. Is that okay? If you don't let this heat bond set, that's what just happened. I didn't let my heat bond set on that end. But once you get that done, that's cooled off, turn it down about an inch and iron it. Okay, so that's the top part of one piece, and then you're going to do the same thing to the other piece, the exact same thing that you did to this piece. You will do it to this one, okay? So <clears throat> I have already used the heat bond, the long side, the bottom, and then the other long side. Okay, here I'm going to show you exactly how I did the bottom, turning it in. And I'm going to just keep my pin right here on the corner, just so it'll stay in place while I'm ironing the heat and bond, okay? So I'm just going to place this in between the fabric and, um, to lay my triangle down. So once I get up here, I'm just going to turn turn my heat and bond just a little bit so that it can go in this direction. Just kind of push it underneath there. And it'll get hot and it'll just come off right like that. So now I'll do this side. Just stick it as far over into that corner as you can. Okay. And then once you get here, just turn it and push it underneath there. Okay. Okay, so now that you have both of your pieces finished, you're going to place one one inside of the other with the wrong sides together. So I'm going to stick my hand in one. I'm going to grab a hold of the bottom and just fold this part over. Just like that. 
make sure that um, your side seams match up. So you can place a pin on that side, place a pin on this side. Matching up your side seams, okay? And you're almost done. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the heat bond and we're gonna attach these two pieces together. So you're gonna place the heat and bond in between those two pieces and you're gonna iron it all the way around. In between the two pieces, you're gonna iron it all the way around. Okay, so now your bag is complete. It's reversible. And you can put your wine inside of your bag at this time. and place your ribbon. So your bag sits flat on the surface because you made it flat by putting the triangles at the bottom. So thanks for watching. And if you would like to see the tutorial with a sewing machine, um, just go to my page and you will see the wine bottle bag using a sewing machine. It's the exact same um, steps as this one. Um, you're just using a sewing machine. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial and please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you made this bag or if there's something else you'd like to see me do. Thanks again. Y'all have a wonderful day.